Hello everyone, welcome to International Film. I'm your host, Alan. As we all know, the power of Hollywood permeated into all over the world, especially English-speaking country. It is getting a little bit harder to find a pure, for example, like this week, British movie, because most of them are the product of the collaboration between the local filmmakers and Hollywood tycoons. But this doesn't mean Britain is no longer has their own excellent film anymore. Tonight, I got one for you, the 1996 film, Train Spotty. It was ranked as the top 10 best British movie by British Film Institute, as well as was voted as the best Scottish movie of all time in the general public poll. It was directed by Daniel Boyle, best known as Academy Award winning director of Slumdog Millionaire, as well as the director of opening ceremony of 2012 London Olympic Games. And also this ambition, charisma, and sheer blood, sweat, brio of this 1996 Ivan Welsh adaptation which gave Iwan McGregor a role that, if we're being honest, he has never bettered. A group of disaffected Scottish youth turn into heroine to escape the banality of modern day existence. Mark Renton, a young man with few prospects and fewer ambitions, lives in economically depressed Edinburgh. Like most of his friends, Renton is a heroin addict who loves the drug's blissful nothingness. Financing his habit also provides excitement and challenges that his life otherwise lacks. Renton's two best friends are also junkies. Sick Boy, a snappy dresser obsessed, of, obsessed with James Bond, and Spewed, a guideless nerd who suggests P. P Pee Wee Herman's debunched cousin. After one too many brushes with the law, Renton kicks hurrying and moves to London, where he finds a job, a flat, and something close to peace of mind. However, this friends, his friends all arrive at his doorstep on the trail of a big skull, leading Renton back into drugs and crime. In Britain, train spotting garnered almost universal praise from critics. Empire magazine described this movie, quote, something Britain can be proud of and Hollywood must be afraid of. The greatness of this movie was not just the acting, the directing, or the industrial ways in which Daniel Boyd uses editing and camera movement to convey time, activity, violence, love, ecstasy, and pain, but the impact on popular culture, the vivid depiction and reflection of the economically depressed society, and the struggles that young, younger generation at that time faced. All right, so much for this movie, and now it's your turn to get on this internet or go to the store to check this movie out. Thanks for watching, I'm Alan. See you next time.